Hello, I'm Ben Daniel, the Chief Editor of Packaging Middle East in Africa magazine. I'm here at Gulf Food 2024 at the Dubai World Trade Center. And it's a pleasure to be here at the Tetra Pak launch and a pleasure to see Sonia Kayani, who's the Communications Director for the Greater Middle East and Central Asia. Hello, Sonia. Good to see you. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure is mine. Thanks. And it's been a while since uh, uh, we uh, you know, worked for, uh, on uh, interviews like this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah? So, so tell us a little bit about Gulf Food. How has it been? So Gulf Food, you know, as, as you know, is a, a highlight of our calendar every year. And uh, this year, you know, we have our lounge here so that we can have our customers congregate here. You know, most of them are exhibiting outside. So it's a nice place for them to come and have their meetings here and uh, sort of have their negotiations with us. We've already had uh, a very nice uh, deal signed yesterday and we're expecting mm -hmm. one today as well. So it's been a very fruitful Gulf food and busy as always. So today is the last day that we're here and we're hoping for a packed house again today. Wonderful. Nice to hear that. Uh, as always, uh, Tetra Pak has been a trendsetter in sustainability when it mm -hmm. comes to packaging, yes. right? And uh, we have been seeing that mm -hmm. and you've taken thought to action. You've really done some wonderful innovations, which is good. But tell us a little more about how really sustainability is moving towards, uh, you know, in the, within the food and mm -hmm. beverage industry. We're talking about the mm -hmm. future of sustainability from a Middle East and Africa perspective. And how is uh, Tetra Pak taking, being part of this journey? So... At Tetra Pak, sustainability is at the very core of our being. It's something we take very, very seriously. And then we don't like to take a very singular approach to sustainability. We like to address sustainability across the value chain. So let's talk about, let's start with a pack, for in instance. So let's start about how it's being sourced. So all of the packaging material that we used, 100% of the factories around the world is FSE certified. So Forest Stewards Ship Council certified, which means that it's coming from sustainable sources, sustainable mm -hmm. farming practices. Uh, we're not just cutting down trees and leaving them there. Many more are being replaced so that the cycle of growth can continue. Um, secondly, our uh, package inherently is made out of 70% renewable material because 70% uh, of the component is paper, sure. which is uh, renewable and recyclable. Uh, many of the other components are in many of the geographies that we operate in, including the Middle East and Africa region, are completely 100% recyclable as well. 70% recyclable is the minimum, but even in some geographies, we're able to achieve 100% uh, recyclability. Secondly, um, when we look at our operations mm -hmm. around the world, so it's our ambition to be net zero by 2030 in, within our own operations. So whether that's how the factory runs, how, you know, how the cars are, uh, which our employees are driving, etc. It encompasses all of that. So that's how we're taking, you know, sort of a 360 degree approach. It's not only the packaging, it's not only our operations, it's how our offices are run, it's how, you know, it's how our employees are, uh, the culture that we have fostered for our employees as well. So it's, you know, it's really something very integral. Uh, okay. to the company's uh, focus and core. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's talk a bit about your regional partners with whom we are working very closely and mm -hmm. we could see some success stories even in one of our summits. You presented yes. one of those. Yes. And uh, tell us a bit about uh, your connection, how you really uh, do this partnership and what are the challenges that you have and more than the challenges, what opportunities and how you really turn out Mm -hmm. uh, these uh, partnerships into a successful one. So let me yeah. take that in a two-pronged approach. We'll talk about sustainability first and then we can talk mm -hmm. about food security as well. So sustainability, we in Saudi, we have two uh, partners that we're working with, OPI, mm -hmm. uh, Obicon Paper Industries and STP Plastics, who we're working with for recycling. Um, this is a partnership that we entered into in about 2021. That's when the recycling facility is launched. It is fully functional now and actually, um, you know, functioning as a recycling facility. Right. For the UAE, we took a step in 2022 at Gulf Food Manufacturing. In fact, we signed an MOU with Union Paper Mills. Yeah. And then um, at COP recently, we signed a further agreement with them to invest. Um, with an investment of about 2.5 million dirhams to set up 
the recycling infrastructure. And what we're foreseeing is that once that infrastructure is in place, we should be able to recycle 20,000 tons of our cartons in the UAE, which is quite a large sum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how, and this is very similar to how we operate in different geographies. We, we try to create a circular economy. So we try to work with partners and recyclers to whom you know, we can provide our cartons, whether it's coming from our customers, whether it's coming from the local collection systems, and, you know, they can recycle those cartons. And then what happens is that those cartons are generally made into useful things that can be used. So the stools that you see outside in our lounge are made out of recycled cartons. Oh, okay. And uh, a lot of the furniture that we use in our exhibitions and uh, in our events, etc., is all recycled. So a lot of these recyclers are now, you know, either they will send the recycled uh, the pulp to a paper mill who can use it for recycled paper. The polymer and the aluminium can be combined to create furniture, waste bins, swings, play sets for children. You know, the list is uh, the list is endless. So that's that's what we invest in: investing in partnerships and creating a circular economy right. in the all the geographies that we're operating in. The other aspect of that is food security. Now you mentioned sure. the project that we did in Yemen, uh, which which won an award at the Prime at the pre, at the, the Prime, Prime Summit. Um, so that is one which is very close to our heart. And now at the last Gulf Food Manufacturing, we actually signed a, a school feeding program deal with one of our major customers in Iraq as well. And as you know, these countries are suffering severely from malnutrition. So this is a is a very small effort from our side to try and combat that problem. In Yemen, we're working with our um, long-standing customer, the Hayal, uh, Hayal Saeed Group, uh, which goes by the name of NAD Food. Uh, we're working yeah. with them and with the World Fruit Program to make, um, you know, milk a part of every child's diet in uh, school. And we're actually going to uh, now address 10,000 children uh, for a year. Uh, that's and you know we want to expand that in the coming years as well. So we've made the initial investment, and now you know the customer and we will partner together to try and keep that program going and trying to get more people, more and more people, to contribute to the program so that it can be a long-standing program. The same is true of Iraq. We are partnering with our customer Assad over there, and uh, you know we are wanting to pioneer that project uh, within this year. Um, and get that project going and trying to, you know, address as many uh, children as we can because it's such a huge issue. These are some of the war-torn countries in the area with severe poverty levels as well. So it's these projects are really close to our heart. And it all comes back to our motto of, you know, we commit to making food safe and available everywhere. And that's especially true in cases where people are most vulnerable. Brilliant. Thank you. We spoke about sustainability. We yes. spoke about um, food security. We spoke about uh, you know, innovations to mm -hmm. some extent. Mm -hmm. And there's another very important element. We're talking about structure and design and format yes. of your packaging. Yes. You won some awards for those innovative uh, yes. structures and formats. Yes. Tell us a bit about this. How do you do that? What's the perspective? And how, what initiatives do you do closely, closely working with the clients according to the requirement, obviously? Yes. But if you can address. Of course. Yeah. So, um, I, I know you've been speaking to Angela and she would have told you about consumer trends as well. There is a big shift uh, for consumers towards more sustainable products. Uh, and even more sustainable packaging. So the package that you see in front of you is actually a very good example of this. This is by far our most sustainable packaging. Um, the paper that has been used, the caps that have been used, this is a fully renewable, carbon neutral uh, package, recyclable package. So this is what we are promoting, uh, not just in this region, but around the world as well, as a more sustainable packaging option. There are, of course, many, many more uh, variants of uh, this uh, packaging material and the formats, but this is the one that we are uh, promoting within this region, and this is the one that won at Gulf Food right. last year for most innovative packaging, and then again at the Prime Summit for most sustainable packaging. So we're rather proud of this one. Another shift that we're seeing in consumer trends is um, people, especially after the pandemic, they have more of an on-the-go culture and a more health conscious culture. So, you know, um, I know Angela was talking to you about reduced sugars, reduced salts. So that's something that we're working with our customers as well to um, 
tailor the products that way and then tailor the packaging that way in terms of the labeling so that when people are you know looking at the labeling they know that they're making a healthier uh, choice. choice the third thing in which is very very interesting and which we've done with a certain uh, with few customers in the region is um, you know the digital uh, connections with the package. So we call the concept a connected package where you have a QR code. In fact, there's a QR code on this one mm -hmm. as well. Um, and you can, and we worked on several customers with that for campaigns that they do. So, you know, you can scan the QR code, you can, it's especially interesting for children, you know, sure. who want to, um, you know, who want to enter into these kind of fun uh, quizzes and contests, etc. and, you know, win a prize or something. So we're doing that. Uh, we are also now into digital printing, which means that we can make limited batches, limited editions for special days, for special occasions. We've done that with one of our customers with certain cartoon characters, etc. So, you know, um, the list is endless. And another great innovation that we're working on is working on alternative barriers. That is something okay. that we're working on globally because we want to try and minimize the amount of aluminum in the package. So that is a package that has been launched elsewhere in the globe. It's not been launched in the region, but globally that's also one of the things that we're working on. Okay. So, you know, when we say unlocking innovation, we, we take it quite seriously. We're trying to, you know, bring as many innovative products uh, to our customers and then to consumers as well. Brilliant. Sonia, that was a pleasure. It's, uh, you've covered almost all the points which I had in mind and that, that's really Did I miss great. anything? No, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> and uh, Wishing all the best for the remaining part of Gulf Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, looking forward for uh, a prosperous 2024. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.